In this video, we're gonna be talking about the on-demand feature on the Thinkorswim platform. You may be saying, Mike, what in the world is this? Well, you're in luck. I'm gonna show you guys not only what it is, but why every trader should be using it and how to go ahead and access this tool. Now, first off, in order to access this tool, you must be logged into your live account, meaning you cannot be logged into your paper account if you wanna have access to this feature. What the feature is, is it's essentially gonna let us trade on simulated data, just like the data that took place on any specific day. So for this example, we're gonna come right over here to where it says on demand. Now, if you do not see the on demand tab right over here in the top right here, corner it is probably because you are logged into your simulated account so log out a sim and log back in to the live account now i'm gonna go ahead and click right there one thing you'll notice once i clicked on on demand we see the outline border is ha has been highlighted we have a border around our screen that's that lets us know that we're on demand if we look right over here on the top left hand corner it says on demand this is very important because the last thing we want to do is think that we're in the on demand feature and you're actually in your live account now what's also very cool about this feature and let me go ahead and pause this what's really cool about this feature is let's say you know you're you're somebody that works a nine to five job and you're not able to trade the markets throughout the day and the only time you have is at night well the good news is this feature will work at night when the market is closed it'll work on the weekends as well as holidays too so again an awesome feature if you're an expiring trader investor whatever the case may be so now what we're going to do is right over here in this box within this box this allows us to set the date and the time in which we want to go ahead and, and act like the market simulate the market data from so for this example we're going to go June 27th, 9.31 a.m. Go ahead and hit go. And one thing you'll notice on the daily chart, we had the market going down. We had two inverted hammers, which I did talk about on the stream. I warned traders that this could be part of a bottoming slash, you know, bounce type of pattern that we see. And this again is more of a warning sign, but I would want to be more bullish than bearish in this scenario because of the inverted hammer scenarios. So what we do from this point on is we can go over to, let's say a five minute chart. We say, wow, okay. We had a little bit of a spike up at the open. Do we want to be involved in this long? If the answer is yes, we can come right over here to trade. Now we could have bought the shares outright, meaning we could have traded SPY and traded shares but who, who wants to go ahead and trade shares when we can yolo some out of the money options real quick so what i'm going to do here is we're going to look at or we're on july 6th um 2023 and we can see we do have data populated within the options chain so what i'm going to do from here is i'm simply going to go ahead i'm going to buy some out of the money calls and we'll go there we'll buy 10 we'll go ahead just so we get filled we'll put this on a on a market order real quick to make sure we get filled, which I would not advise anybody to do. Trading market orders on options is suicide. You're gonna be paying the spread. Right here, once we go to place the order, we can see right here, on demand virtual order. Again, this is gonna be another clue that we're in a simulated account. Next, we're gonna click OK. And if we come back over and we look at the charts, is the market moving higher or lower? Well, we can see we're actually starting to rally up just as it would have been on that day. Now, one of the things we can do is we can speed things up a little bit. We can speed time up. And what we'll notice is, wow, look, all right, we already jumped way ahead in time. All right, so now we're already at 1022. We basically jumped the whole hour in time. The market rallied up, the market came back down, and the market is moving once again. Okay, so right over here, you can hit three times speed, which I hit right over here with this tab, or I can I can step it backwards, all right? I can slow things down just a bit. You can see we're starting to take a little bit of heat, all right, when the market was coming down. So again, I'm going to speed it back up. I'm going to hit play, and we'll see everything moving at three times speed. Now, what we can do is, in order to watch how things are playing out, see how the market's moving, probably had 10 o'clock news on that day. We come over and we look at our positions right now we can see we're down 60 dollars on on this option oh 55 now so again this is going to simulate just as if we took this trade live all the values are going to change just as if we actually took that trade live now what's pretty cool about this is since we already have this trade on one of the things we can do is say, okay, why don't I want to sit there and watch this trade play out throughout the day? Well, we can simply go ahead and skip to the next day. Roughly at the same time, we'll hit go to, and we'll let everything go ahead and populate. 
You can see right over here where it says pre-buffering. As soon as this is done, we'll get the data to populate. All right, now that the data has been able to populate, and now we're on this specific day, right? I'm gonna go ahead and hit place so we can let this move. You can see our options have now appreciated the $630. We come back over and we look at the charts. We're gonna go back and look at the daily. We'll put this back on the daily and say, okay, what is the market doing? Well, it looks like to me, the market is actually rallying up. We were right, the market shot up. Now, I am gonna say I already knew what happened before I started to make this video, so no, I did not predict this was exactly what was gonna happen, but this is something I did warn, warn about in my analysis videos that I put out daily, along with the live streams I do as well. This was one of the scenarios. So now the question is, do we want to yellow this for another day? Should we go ahead and see if this trade is going to make more and more money or should we simply close it out? Well, if we're going to yellow it, let's go ahead and skip to the next trading day. So now we'll go over here to the 29th. We'll go ahead and click go to. And now we're going to go ahead and look. It's going to be pre-buffering once again, depending on your internet connection and your computer, will determine how long it takes for the data to load. All right, so now that the data has been populated, we can see now we're up $1,750 on these options. We come over and we check the charts, and what do you know? We have some more price appreciation. So now the question is, should we close it out or should we YOLO it some more? Well, all in good faith since it doesn't matter how much money we make or lose. Let's go ahead and roll the dice and go ahead and go to another day. So this example, we'll go ahead and we'll skip, all right? We'll go all the way to July. Let's go ahead and go to July 3rd, uh, right before the 4th of July holiday, and we'll close it out at the end of this day. All right, the data has already been loaded. We know this because it does not say buffering or pre-buffering right over here. We're gonna come back over to the monitor tab, and now we are up $6,325. Let's go. Who doesn't like to make that type of money? And again, you know, if you want to YOLO options, this is one of the safest ways to do it is by doing it on demand, right? On demand, right? We can YOLO as much as we want and we will not be penalized if we're wrong on the trade. We also will not be rewarded if the trade actually works out. Now, if we want to go ahead and close out this trade, we can click right on, oops, we can right click right on here, create closing order, and we can put sell. And what we'll do is let's go ahead and work a limit order on the way out. All right. So we'll see if we can get a little bit more out of this right now. We'll move that up here just a bit. Hit confirm. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now we'll go right back over to the chart. We'll put this onto a five minute chart real quick. And let's just see, are we going to get lucky or not? Keep in mind, the market did close early on this day. And you see the order just kind of jostling around let's go back over here to the monitor and let's actually see does it show oops working orders right up here and let's actually see it so we're trying to sell and our the mark price right now is 796 we're trying to get out at 801 Woo, I don't know if we're going to make it or not before the end of the day what we can do here is go ahead and cancel and replace order I'll move this down to 95 we'll click confirm click send and then let's go over and see, did we get out of the trade? Are we now out of the trade? Go over here to monitor. You can see, bada bing, bada boom. We no longer have a trade on. The trade has now been cleared out. We made $6,330. Now here's a little bit of bad news. We do not get to keep any of that money that we made. Now you may be wondering, Mike, how do we exit the on demand? How do I get back to my live trading account? You come right over here, you click on demand, and now you're back in your live trading account. If you guys enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, give it a big thumbs up, and if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notifications.